نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الحمد لله We're here today on another lesson in Tajweed. We're doing the text, Jamzuri, or Tuhfat al-Atfal from Sheikh Sulaiman al-Jamzuri. Today we're on a continuation of the lesson where we, we ended off with Sif Dha Thana Kam Jada Shakhsun Qad Sama Dum Tayyiban Zid Fi Tuqa Da' Zaliman. And this is, who can tell me what the rule is for this? What rule is this? This is the rule of Nun is Sakina with Tanween, and it's the fourth rule. Let's do a quick review. Okay, the first rule is Nun is Sakina with Tanween. Nun and Tanween, right? Hello? Wake up? Yes. Somebody? Okay, so we have Nun is Sakina with Tanween. What's the first rule for it? It's Idhar, right? Yes. Idhar is the first rule. What are the letters of Idhar? Hamza, Fahal. Don't look at your notes. You don't have to look at your notes for this because you're supposed to be memorizing this. Everybody's supposed to be memorizing it. It's Hamza, Faha'un, Thumma, Aynun, Ha'un. Muhmalatani means it doesn't have anything over it. Then we say, Ghaynun, Kha'un. So that's six letters. Six letters of the what? Throat letters. Six letters of the throat. Okay? So then the next one, what's the next rule? After Idhar, what do you have? You have Idgham. Idgham, what are the letters of Idgham? Yarmaluna. Right? Yarmaluna or Yarmuluna. Okay? Both of those are correct. Yarmaluna or Yarmaluna. And, and typically, Yarmaluna means to move quickly. Okay? It's to move quickly, to rush around. There are six letters here. There's six letters also. And we know Yar Idram is broken down into two types. Right? One, two. One with Gunna and one without Gunna. The board is wet. Idram with Gunna and Idram, Idram without Gunna. Right? The Idram with Gunna is what are the letters? This shows nobody's studying. The letters are yan mu. And what's the idram with guna? Lir. And together they make yarmaluna or yarmaluna. The next rule after this one is what? Iqlab. 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 And this is the only letter it has is ba. Okay? And the ba. Mimin bi gunnatin ma'al ikhfa'i. And so that comes to our last rule because there's only four rules. In Nuna Sakin with Tenween, and the last rule we have is Ikhfa. And Ikhfa means a sitra. It is to make a cover, to conceal something. Like you have a sutra before you pray, or a sitara you have over your window so people won't look into it. But it is, as a practical way, it is to pronounce the noon or the, with the letter coming, it fades in between Idhar, right? Between, between Idhar and that Idram, between those two. So it's a fade in. We learn the letters. The letters of Ikhfa, just now, we, 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 we learned them. What was the line of poetry? The line of poem, it says, وَالرَّابِئُ الْإِخْفَاءُ عِنْدَ الْفَادِلِ مِنَ الْحُرُوفِ وَاجِبٌ لِلْفَادِلِ فِي خَمْسَةٍ مِنْ بَعْدِ عَشْرٍ رَمْزُهَا فِي كَلْمِ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ قَدْ ضَمَّنْتُهَا صِفْ ذَا ثَنَا كَمْ جَادَ شَخْصٌ قَدْ سَمَا ضُمْ تَيِّبًا زِدْ فِي تُقَى ضَعْ ظَالِمًا It said, وَالْرَابِعُ الْإِخْفَاعُ عِنْدَ الْفَادِلِ And the fourth rule, this is one, this is two, this is three. وَالَيْكُمْ سَلَامُ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ Three. And the fourth rule is إِخْفَاعُ And it is in the Fadi, the remaining letters. The remaining letters. So we have six here, we have six here, we have one here. Six and six is Kem. 12, right? If add 1 is 13, right? Then that's 13, and the rest of it is Fadri. The Khams fi Khamsatin min ba'di ashrin ramzuha fi kilmi had al bayti qadda mentuha. So it's 15 letters, right? 15 letters. Right? So 15 plus 12 is, uh, plus 13 is Kem. How much? What? 15 plus 13? Yeah. Put a, put a sutra for the lady of the ladies. I said 13. 13. Or if I should if I said 12, I'm wrong, but it's it's 13 plus 15. How is what's the do the math, guys? Come on. 13 letters. Right? 15. 5 and 3 is what? 8. Okay, so my 28 letters, right? So we should know, since we know the six the six letters of the throat, 
and we know the six letters of idgham, and we know the one letter of iqlab, we should be able to name the other 15 letters. Right? And so we can, if we think about it. It's, you know, you say all the letters that are not, Yarma Luna, all the letters that are not, um, Hamza Fahad on the throat letters, and all the letters not bad. But it's in this word. We had it like this. Sif, the, thana, 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 oh, spell this right. No, thana, kam jada, shaksun, qad sama, Thank you very much. One person. You know? I'm sorry. Dum tayyiban. Tayyiban. No. Zid fi tuqa. Or tuqan. In another narration, my sheikh told me. Da' zaliman. Da' zaliman. Okay? So now what we do with these letters here, with these words is that we just highlight the letter that we are focusing on. Sad, with Val, with Tha, with Ka, Jame, Sheen, Dha, Dha, Ta, Fa, Zay, Tha, and Dal. These are the, I'm sorry, with Seen, with Qaf. Okay, these are the letters of Ikhfa. And now we said, we did this last week. This is just a review. So now we're going to give an example of each one. Okay? We give an example of each one. We have Sad. Let me write these letters down over here so we don't, we don't forget them. We put sod, say sod, dal, tha, kaf, jim, shim, qaf, seen, dal, ta, zay, fa, ta, dad, and va. Fifteen letters. Now let's go through it and get an example of each one. Focus on that. And, and these examples, like I said, this is, these examples and everything that I'm giving here are not for anybody just to sit here and say, okay, that was cool, I got that, and you move on. You can follow the lessons like that. Wallahi, there's nothing difficult here. We and the sheikh, we, the imam, we were just talking about it. All the lessons we took overseas and the different schools we went to and stuff like that and the different shiuk we sat with, none of the stuff was difficult. None of it. It's just detailed. It's very meticulous. You just have to put the time in and pay attention. But if you don't memorize it, it'll go away. It's not going to stay because it is so detailed that you can get it confused. Okay? It's, it, so if you memorize, it's easier for it to stay with you. And if you teach it, it's definitely going to stay with you. Okay? Because through teaching, you learn more. You learn how to articulate it. You learn what doesn't work, what's confusing. And so let's go through this. And I wrote my, I'm, I was going through my book, all through this course I've been using my own, my own notes from this, when I studied this text. And, and I had translated it in, in, into English. But I found this other book and I found that some of these examples are easier because they have a lot of them from Juz Amma. Mines are from different places in the Mus'haf. And it's easier for people to stick to that. So I'm going to use a combination of both because I like some of the things that I did and I like some of the things that they wrote in here. So I'm going to try to make it easy for everybody. The first letter we're going to deal with is Saad. If I say the letter, you say the letter. That was, we started doing that a long time ago. We stopped doing it. I know a few people aren't here today, but you got to make up for their absence. And we got some other people here, so you bring in more noise, inshallah ta'ala, okay? And there's a better cut in that because other people watch these. More people watch these than, than come to the class. And they're, they're relying on the people that's at the class to get it better than they get it at home. You know, that's usually the thought. So you do your part and you mo everybody motivates. You never know how what you've done has motivated the next person to take another step. You know? So going along, we go sod. Sod. Okay, it says here, now we're doing el ikhfa And the rule, the practical application of ikhfa is what I call the fade in. You fade it in. Okay? It's not like idhar. Idhar is clear and independent noon sound. Right, because we're dealing with noon a second and tenween. So this letter is going to come in three different ways. It's going to come with a noon in the middle of one word. It's going to come with a noon at the end of a word, with tenween, right? And it's going to come by itself at the noon at the end of the word with the sukun. And we're going to have each one of those. And it's not going to be the independent, you know, like we said, men amena. Hesitation kills. Men amena. Yen auna. See, that's clear. 
ينعون جرف هار 